My name is Audrey Paradis. I'm originally from Canada, but I've been in Finland here for almost nine years. I was trained as a mathematics and physics teacher in Canada, so in high school. And so I have been uh, in Canada, mathematics and physics and chemistry teacher also for seven years. Mathematics and these kind of uh, physics stuff in high school made a lot of sense to me. I was looking at the page full of calculations and equations and I thought it looked so, so smart. I, it made me feel <laughs> very smart to look at the, all this stuff that I could do. And so I had really fun mathematics teachers, male and female, that uh, really were saying that uh, mathematics is not just a, it's not just a boy thing, it's an everything thing. And so it really got me inspired. And so in college, I pursued mathematics and it was difficult to say the least, but still very enjoyable. And because I really got into it and took all the math that I could in university and really felt that I had a really good hold in mathematics, then that's something I wanted to do with my career. My work history uh, started, I guess, when I became a trained mathematics teacher. In Canada, we have this long full year bachelor's, which it's only didactics and pedagogy of mathematics that we learn. And so we're really solidly trained in that field. And so I moved straight to the north of Canada to a place called Yellowknife, where I stayed for seven years. And so I was a math teacher there teaching grades nine till 12 very passionate about this idea that math is for everyone and it's not just a and it's not just a boy thing and it's really true we train the students to say oh you're a boy you should be good at math this is all a construction that we've made we all have the same capacities to do math and the same enjoyment if we just take it as it is and so I was really pushing girls to go for math and really trying to get them to enjoy math as much as I did. And so that's the first kind of a chapter of my work history. Then since I came to Finland, I've been doing my master's and PhD, but meanwhile, I was teaching a lot in the faculty of education and teaching a lot, but not in math specifically. However, I am involved in a math uh, collaboration where we look at flexible equation solving even though teachers know that collaborative learning is a very efficient tool to implement in the classrooms, a lot of teachers don't implement it. And so we're looking at why. I find that the mathematics as a language is really important and elegant and beautiful. And I think it's important to develop our logic, to develop the way that we think. But I think that there's a lot of things that in teaching mathematics that we do and that I think should change. For example, there is a whole bunch of rote learning that still happens in math, and it's not the best way to learn, not on the cognitive level, not on the emotional level, and you don't remember it as well. So I'm very motivated nowadays to do research that would try to bring teachers and students to think in a bit different way, to think in more collaborative way and in cognitive ways that will get the students to understand the processes instead of just learning them by heart. And so I'm doing research in regards to math to kind of improve that, to make this beautiful math science a bit less scary maybe, and just a bit more approachable for everybody. So I really wish I could make a difference in how people approach math. I don't think it's a scary science, and I don't think it's something that people should be disgusted by. Earlier, when I was asked, what do you do? I'm a math teacher. And people's reaction would often be, ugh, math teacher. Why is it so? Why do people have such a disliking feeling towards math? It's because I think a lot of teachers are afraid of math, and so they transmit this fear to their students. And also, they say, oh, it's only for these kind of people that are good at math. If you're good in languages, for example, you can be good at math. I think all these fake categories, it's not true. So I would like to make a difference in trying to break down those structures and those fake categories that we made that only these people are good at math. So I would like to change that. I would also like to change all the rote learning to make it more a process for people to be able to enjoy math and not just sit at home and learn things by heart because this is not elating. It's not a fun learning process.
So I really would like to make a change in how math is perceived and how math is being taught. It's really fun and you can really be creative and you can really make a difference in the life of your students that are maybe afraid of math, but then you can slowly untangle this fear of math and then thrive on the group of students that are now liking math because of you. Thank you.